We've talked so much about growth rate for dividend discount models, but how do we estimate a reasonable growth rate for a company? One simple way is to calculate the firm's sustainable growth rate, which is a simple function of the earnings retention ratio and the return on equity. It's not hard to understand this. The retention ratio is the proportion of earnings that the company retains to grow the company. So if we multiply that by the ROE, this gives us the rate at which earnings can continue to grow indefinitely. This fulfills the definition of growth rate under the Gordon Growth Model. The implicit assumption is that the firm's debt-to-equity ratio remains unchanged and that the firm does not issue new equity. Now, if you recall from Level 1, the ROE of a company, which is the net income over equity, can be decomposed into three components based on the DuPont system, the profit margin, asset turnover, and financial leverage. This means that the sustainable growth rate of a company is a factor of these three components and the retention ratio. This is also called the Pratt model, based on the first alphabet of each of the four components. Two of these factors are functions of the firm's financing decisions, and the other two are functions of performance. The product of the two factors is actually the return on assets of the firm. Now, if you noticed, the intermediate terms all cancel out, so the sustainable growth rate can also be expressed in terms of net income, dividend and owner's equity. This expression, however, is not common. But if you're given these values in the exam, you can use them to quickly calculate the sustainable growth rate. In essence, remember all three of these expressions for the sustainable growth rate, so depending on what the parameters are that you're given in the exam, you can quickly make the calculation. The Pratt model is also often used by analysts to determine the drivers of growth for a company. Let's see how this works. Companies A and B are competitors in the same industry, and investors like to compare them because historically they have comparable growth rates. Given selected information from their latest financial statements, perform a Pratt analysis and comment on their key drivers of growth. Pause the video now and work out your answer. And we're back. Let's first calculate the profit margin, asset turnover, retention ratio and financial leverage of the two companies. If we multiply all these ratios, their sustainable growth rates are quite close at 3.8%. However, it seems that company A's growth is comparatively driven more by financing factors. Its retention and leverage ratios are much higher than company B. Company B's growth, on the other hand, is driven more by its performance. Its return on assets is 5%, compared to 0.8% for Company A. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At PrepNuggets, let us do the hard work for you.